Hey Trekkies, Orla Brady is back in the Picard Season 2 fold, but unless Q is playing more games, it doesn't appear that this is the Laris that we all know. But what if I told you that this isn't actually Laris, and is actually the return of a character that we've not seen on our screens in over half a century? Hold on to your hats, lads, because this theory is a wild one. What if we're seeing the return of Isis? Perhaps for some, a refresher might be in order. I'm not talking about the dangerous real-world terrorist organisation from the Middle East. I'm not talking about the covert organisation from Archer. What I'm talking about is the shape-shifting cat who made a brief but memorable appearance in the TOS Season 2 finale, Assignment Earth, way back in 1968. In that episode, the Enterprise travels back to 1968, much in the same way Picard and the La Serena did in Picard Season 2. There they encounter Gary Seven, a human Class 1 supervisor raised by a mysterious alien race and sent back to Earth to protect his inhabitants. Accompanying Seven on his mission was Isis, a black cat who, while appearing to merely be Seven's pet, was actually far more important, capable of shape-shifting into human form, as well as being proficient in telepathy. Although Gary and Isis continued their adventures in novels and a short comic book run, we never actually saw the two on our screens following the episode. So, Picard's episode Watcher, an hour packed with clear references to the classic adventure, is the closest we've come to some sort of a return. So why Laris? Why do I think Laris is a 54-year-old cat? There's the obvious reason, of course. Orla Brady featured heavily in promos for the season, and with the bulk seemingly set in contemporary Los Angeles, the chances of a lot of Laris screen time seemed quite unlikely. But the more I think about the deeper possibilities, the more this idea makes sense. Let's remember what we know about Isis. Capable of shape-shifting, telepathic, and on a mission to protect Earth and its inhabitants. We now know that Jean-Luc Picard ties into the story far more than originally speculated, with an ancestor clearly tied into the event that could lead to the nightmarish Confederation future. Picard's feelings for Laris were confessed at the beginning of the season, and were included in the fourth episode's recap for reasons at the time didn't appear clear. Now aware of Picard's presence in 2024, my theory is the supervisors plan to use him to help prevent the temporal divergence, and have sent Isis to assume the form of someone he can trust to help him complete this new and all-important mission. This would explain the human appearance of Laris, while retaining the knowing look that she gives Picard at the end of the episode. Again, the more I think about this, the more it just makes sense. And let's get even wilder for a second, if you'll indulge me. Isis is distinguishable by her silver collar in both cat and human form. Laris, who also bears a close resemblance to April Tataro, who played Isis's human form back in 1968, appears to Picard at the end of Watcher wearing a collared garment. Hmm. Am I looking into this too much? Very likely. Most definitely, in fact. But the inclusion of multiple supervisor references, as well as that distinctive blue smoky transporter window, doesn't preclude my theory. I guess we'll find out sooner rather than later in any case. But what do you think? Is Laris really Isis the Cat? Let me know your thoughts and alternative theories, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Star Trek reviews, analysis, and of course, wild theories. Until next time, I'm the Trek Lad. Live long and prosper. <laughs> See what I did there?